You know, a client of mine, as we were doing his personal branding, he kind of told me this, <laughs> which I felt was a little funny. It's like in my workplace, most of the colleagues, they are idiots. Most of the people working there. So I laughed. I said, uh, what do you mean by that? He said, yeah, they don't have any ambition. They don't have any aims. Most of them are just going with the flow. They act very brave. and But when the management comes or the boss comes, they become like, uh, you know, shivering cats. Like, they are, you know, a cat who is shivering with fear. Then uh, uh, most of them are like mediocre. They they don't read any books. They don't go to the gym or they don't do exercise. Some others will sit in the office. They'll just sit mindlessly for hours and hours. Then there are others who just gossip and you know, he went on. So he was telling me, now what do I do? There is nobody who I can interact with. Nobody was motivating. Nobody was inspiring, nobody who is at my wavelength. So he asked me, what is the solution? See, the fact of the matter is, you know, like you can't choose your parents. When you're born, you're born with a default set of parents. You can't choose them, right? Okay. Then when you go to school, you can't choose your, unless of course your parents are ready to listen to you, but you'll end up with the same school that you're put there. And once you're there, you have to manage with whomsoever the guys are there. Whether you like them or don't like them. Even your teachers. Maybe you like them, maybe you'll not like them. Then you go to college. College can be even worse. Get a bunch of bullies or you'll get a bunch of uh, people who are indifferent to you. And you'll be stuck with your small group. Then after college is over, finally you come to work life. There once again, you can't choose your colleague, you can't choose where you sit, you can't choose your boss. So throughout our lives, you know, we are presented with this. In fact, even when you go take a residence or you stay somewhere, maybe you don't like your neighbor, maybe you don't like the people around it. So maybe you can change, but then what if you go to the next place and there also you end up with some nonsense. Like, we had one guy who shifted uh, near one of our apartments, uh, sorry, near one of our villas. And, uh, you know, we welcomed him and it's not every day you get someone. On the second day, in the morning, somewhere after a little late when I got up, he came, he was a little angry and says, excuse me, uh, I just have a problem, man. Saying your dog keeps barking. See, the dog keeps barking because there are other dogs or there are people running around. So obviously my dog will bark. So now he was like, your dog is barking. I'm a light sleeper. I can't sleep. And what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to keep my guard dog quiet? How will I make my dog uh, quiet? And then what is the point of having a guard dog? So, in two, three days, he left. So now if there are, you know, there are things like this, which if you don't like someone or don't like the place, you want to leave, fine. But you can't do it in every area of your life, right? Uh, let's say you don't like your relatives, you don't like your in-laws. So, you can't replace them, right? Yeah, I know, some, some of you would wish they never existed or they died. But the, <laughs> we need to be real. So what is the answer? What is the solution? The solution is simply if, at your workplace, since we are speaking about the workplace, just focus on work. At your workplace, you're not there to make friends. At your workplace, you're not there to uh, you know, get to know each other. I'm pretty sure you're not going to make them your family members or invite them home or you go to their house and obviously after you leave the company they're not going to keep in touch with you so life goes on right so the people who are there in your workplace are there for a common reason and the common reason is work so keep it to work your conversations keep it limited to work 
okay maybe just as a casual conversation you can ask about cricket or football or a sporting event or a festival you know small talk is already always there but it's recommended you keep it to work i have you by focus on work whatever private conversations you have keep it with someone who is not in your workplace that's one the second one is if there is a person you don't like yeah guess what if you don't like him pretty sure he doesn't like you and pretty sure both of you have this invisible tension between both of you you might think he doesn't know that you don't like him well guess what he does you both are aware of that now that doesn't mean you go and uh, meet him and say see listen we don't like each other don't do that don't acknowledge it don't talk about it just mind your own business and one thing which i always tell my clients keep everything in writing everything should be written so that tomorrow there's no denying oh where's the proof what you told me this ah where's the proof you never told me this and you know all that drama and last but not the least remember this much that your workplace no is not a place to foster friendship yes these management books and these western concepts uh, your colleagues and you know teamwork and this and that and they make it sound so bubbly sweet and nice if only life were so perfect where you could say teamwork and smile and happy happy with everyone i would just say just uh, limited to the least amount of interaction Oof. uh i don't know what is the fascination with this big sound you know limited to the least amount of interaction between you two get the work done that's about it leave in fact uh, in my you know days where i worked for quick electric with the ceo of the company you know i was directly under him he was very close to me there were a lot of people he didn't like and a lot of people who didn't like him but he would just focus on what needs to be done do it and bye bye he would not engage in more conversations nothing and in fact outside office hours he wouldn't want to talk to them and wouldn't want to know them so the same thing with you man it's uh, don't look for inspiration in the office don't look for wow he inspires me wow we'll have a mastermind keep this much keep this much in your head tomorrow if there is a promotion in your team of 10 people you all are getting the same salary and there's a promotion that only one of you can become uh, the leader and only one of you can get 20% salary increase do you think uh, your colleague or your best friend is going to say uh, he is my best friend let him become you think he doesn't want to earn more money per hour per day per month you think he doesn't have his dreams yeah it's going to be dog eat dog world man survival of the fittest and that is where uh, you know people will form teams or they will bitch about each other or finally until one person is chosen and then you can't complain you can't cry that is why i tell people your uh, it's not your enemies you have to be worried about it's the people you call friends they are the ones who will give you the biggest you know shock because with them you are least uh, you know you're you're not at all expecting any problems there see overall as a conclusion all i'll tell you is all through all my years to all the people i've dealt with i've never <laughs> i've never come across anybody who said oh i love my entire team very rare maybe one or two but they were at a very senior level obviously they said that because they were at a decision making authority and everyone was under them and obviously they would kiss that person's ass just to get uh, you know be in their good books however if you are a team player and a team member of a team with many people everyone's looking out for their own back everyone has their own goals everyone has their own families so don't for a minute think that oh is my well wisher and friend and remember this much you're not going to office to get inspiration motivation and you're just there to do your work take your salary home bye bye bam bam thank you ma'am that's about it man So yeah, don't uh, take uh, work colleagues too closely, too personally, and uh, put them in their place. Just do your work, and your goal is to finish your work, go home, 
end of story. So this is what I wanted to share with you. This is what I told my client. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Love to hear from you. You guys take care. Ciao. Thank you.